Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In today's discussion, we are going to talk about two important updates related to India's hypersonic missile and PA type Poseidon Maritime Surveillance Aircraft. On 26 April 2021, the Congressional Research Service CRS, has published a detailed report on hypersonic weapons in operation and being developed across the world. CRS is an organization that provides the needful insight and comprehensive analysis on complex issues and politics to US Congress for making law. As per the report, India will likely to have its own hypersonic missile between 2025 and 2028. Now, as you all know, India has already collaborated with Russia on the development of Brahmos 2, which is going to be a hypersonic cruise missile. The Brahmos 2, which is expected to have a range of 1000 km, will have a speed of Mach 8. The initial plan for the deployment and development of Brahmos 2 was intended by 2017. However, the program faced significant delays and is now scheduled to achieve initial operational capability somewhere between 2025 and 2028. India is also working on its indigenous dual capable hypersonic cruise missile as a part of its hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle program, also called HSTDV in short, and has successfully tested Max 6 Scamjet in June 2019 and September 2020. DRDO has also started the preparation of its third test of HSTDV this year and it's most likely that we could hear about this test in the next 2-4 to four months. At present, India operates approximately 12 hypersonic wind tunnels. This provides India a capability to test a speed up to Mach 13. India is also working on Brahmos X, which will have a near hypersonic speed. The missile would be capable of reaching maximum speed of 4.5 Mach via existing ramjet engine used in Brahmos missiles. The existing ramjet engines of Brahmos can pick up missiles up to 3.5 Mach and the same engine with additional enhancements will be used to achieve the near hypersonic speed. The range of Brahmos X has not yet been disclosed. We have made a detailed video on Brahmos X and other missiles in Brahmos family. The link for the same can be found in the description section. Our next update is related to Boeing PTI aircrafts also known as submarine hunters. The PTI is modified version of Boeing 737 commercial planes. Indian Navy is currently operating a fleet of 8 Boeing PTI planes and had contracted for additional 4 aircraft in July 2016. The Biden administration on Friday notified the Congress of its determination to sell six PTI petrol aircraft to India for an estimated cost of US dollar 2.42 billion. This proposed sale of additional six PTI aircraft will allow Indian Navy to expand its maritime surveillance aircraft MSA capability for next 30 years. India will have no difficulty in absorbing these aircraft into its armed forces as it's already operating a fleet of eight PTI Poseidons. The PTIs is equipped with advanced electronics and communications to perform surveillance, reconnaissance and electronic jamming. It has capability to detect submarine deep inside the water without flying low. From the air itself, it can launch torpedoes on submarines. Poseidon has six hard points where it can carry Harpoon Block 2 anti ship missiles. These missiles are solid fuel propelled missiles with a range of 67 nautical miles. These missiles provide its capability to engage even warships and ground targets. It has an internal weapon bay to launch torpedoes on submarines. It is equipped with MK 54 lightweight torpedoes, which can be launched from the sky at an altitude of 30,000 feet. The internal bay can also include depth charges and guided bombs. It has capability to carry 129 solo boys, which helps locate enemy submarines and can also be used to pull to launch anti-ship missiles. In the Naval Squadron 312A is the PTI Squadron. It is currently operating from Rajali Naval Base. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in the comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, 
I would like to say goodbye and enjoy in films. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in different sector.